I'm not going to sit here and tell you life is going to be Ron Howard happy days every day. It's not going to be that way. Matter of fact, it's probably going to be the opposite. You see, the enemy is going to throw everything he has in his toolbox at you. Now, he can't stop you himself, but his objective is to get you to stop you. This message is for the struggle, for all those going through trials and tribulations. People in this world are going to fool you, disappoint you, turn their back on you. The closest around you are going to give up on you. And when things hit the fan, everybody's going to run. You're going to look around and you're going to be all alone. I'm just keeping it real with you because somebody out there needs to hear what I'm saying. This ain't a motivational video. Man, this is life. This ain't no game to me and I know what you're going through. And I'm going to speak life into you right now. Nothing, listen to me. Nothing can stop you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. And that is all you need. There's a power inside of you that you can only discover when you are truly alone. Just as the waves on a beach shore come in and out, people will do the same. Relationships are like music. And you should never make music with anybody who doesn't understand, appreciate, and value your lyrics. Sometimes you just got to let these people go. You got to know your worth. Sometimes you just got to let them people go. You got to stop chasing people who don't appreciate you. Sometimes in this life, champion, you got to remind the world just who you are. And you don't do this by telling them with your mouth. You tell them with your actions. You make your actions speak loud and proud to who you are. Don't let the world convince you that you're nobody. You're somebody who just don't know it yet. Do you hear what I'm saying, champion? I'm speaking to the champion in you. Rise, champion. The way of the warrior. Champion eyes. Get back up. My spirit cries. Fear dies. Choked out by the scream. The desire to climb. And live out my dream. Take it for the team. Discipline reigns. I want it too bad to listen to the pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. Tragedy and setbacks. An inspirational story. Warriors like me. We were strategically designed for the struggle. Many before me. Gave up and quit. Acted all bad. <laughs> To the first time they got hit. But see, blood don't scare me. I fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. I was made for war. I cry out to heaven. Blessed and unstoppable. An immortal legend. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching. I just keep on pounding. I found it. That deep desire to win. I remember defeat and I say, never again. See, warriors like me, we were born and strategically designed for the struggle. The way of the warrior, champion eyes. Get back up, my spirit cries. Fear dies. Choked out by the screams. The desire to climb and live out my dreams. Take it for the team. Discipline reigns. I want it too bad to bow to pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. 
tragedy, setbacks, an inspirational story. Many before me gave up and quit, acted all bad to the first time they got in. Blood don't scare me. I fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching, I just keep on pounding. Because I'm a warrior, and that's what we do. I'm Billy Owls Brooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. What kind of life do you want to live? Success is a choice. It's a decision that only you can make for you. First comes the choice. Then comes the commitment. Are you willing to commit to doing what it takes to go where you want to go? A lot of people say they want to be successful. But they struggle and they stumble on that commitment part. A lot of times, the only way we will make that commitment is we have to hit rock bottom. We have to get so sick and tired of feeling the way we do before we'll ever take the action needed to crawl up out of that pit. I think you're ready. I think you're ready and you wouldn't be listening to me right now. I think you know that you have greatness on the inside of you and you just need somebody to speak over your life and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I speak greatness over you. Arise, champion. I'm speaking to somebody out there. The reason you feel so uncomfortable on the inside is because you know you're not being the best version of you that you can be. That discomfort is trying to move you from where you're at to where you belong. Your destiny is greatness. And you know this on the inside. And that voice just keeps on calling. And you're never going to have the peace until you go become who you are supposed to be. Now we're going to set this change in motion for you right now. I want you to say this with me. I want you to say this out loud. I am ready to change my life. I am willing and committed to going all in and fully commit to doing the things that it takes to become the person I was meant to be. And that starts right now. All excuses stop right now. I will not from this point forward point the blame at anybody else for my own destiny. I will take responsibility for who I want to be. I will get up every day and work toward that person that I know that I am on the inside. I pledge with all my actions allegiance to success. I will search deep down inside for a why that will allow me to run through walls with it because I will not be denied. Champions put in place the habits and daily rituals that manufacture success. They push themselves constantly to the point of pain. And by refusing to tap out to that pain, they eventually give birth to greatness. Pain is no match for a real champion. The legends understand to be a winner. One must be comfortable at being uncomfortable. The dark, the unknown. The fears that stalk each and every one of us must be faced and faced alone. For the more we go through the fire, the more refined we become. Those struggles, trials, and tribulations, they mold and shape us, prepare us for the calling and events to come. We learn to perform under stress, under duress, and without hesitation because perfect practice consistently makes one perfect all the time. The inner standard of a champion sets him apart from the masses, the wannabes, and the uncommitted. Legends refuse to settle for mediocrity. For them, being average is the plague and totally unacceptable. Champions go all in all the time. Not just on game day. When the practice is over for the team, 
the work for the champion chess begins. They understand the process and what is required to be elite, to be great, to be the best. It requires obsession, passion, focus, and an unbelievable work ethic. Sweat becomes the friend of the 1%. Success is available to anybody that is willing to work for it. Success can only be bought with the currency of hard work. And champions refuse to concede to anything less than leaving every ounce of themselves on the practice field. The weight room, the classroom, whatever champions do, they carry that same inner standard of greatness with them. They don't turn it on and off depending on where they're at. It is constant. They never enter an environment without it. To stand next to them is to be infected. Their commitment inspires, strengthens, and impacts everyone who comes in contact with them. They are the leaders, not by word, but by actions. They set the example for their teammates and exemplify the message, blessed and unstoppable. In this life, there will always be obstacles. There will always be challenges. There will always be giants. What has defeated you? What is your giant? Name it. Is it fear? Is it anxiety? Is it insecurity? Is it doubt? Perhaps your giant or your improbable feat is a better relationship, weight loss, what has been your obstacle, your challenge, your task, what is your giant? This is the last day you are going to allow this giant to defy you. I know it hasn't been easy. It's time to win. Goliath! There will be many giants in your life. There will be depression. There will be anxiety. There will be oppression. There will be stress. There will be overwhelm. Will you buckle under the pressure or will you rise to the occasion? The Bible says that David got up and ran into the army of the Philistine. He ran towards the battle. And like an eagle is the only bird that flies into the storm. It is time for you to fly into the next dimension of where you have been called to. What is your dream? What is your idea? What is your assignment? There is a new breed of champions emerging out of the ashes of doubt and fear. Your knees may be knocking, your palms sweaty, but the time is now to rise up and run after it. Run after your dream. Run after your idea. Run after your goal. Run after it with everything that you have. You will never have your future until you are fully persuaded that you are a carrier of everything required to fulfill your destiny. If nobody believes in you, you got to make it up in your mind that all you have is all you need. You are going to need vision. Before you win, you're going to have to see it. I want you to see yourself winning. If you can see it, you can have it. In this life, there will always be a man, a woman, a boy, a girl, or a team who will face impossible odds and somehow through some combination of courage 
will, grit, and a mustard seed of faith they'll manage to overcome. What I love about David is that David was not only one of the youngest, the smallest, the least likely. Not only was David underrated, but his weapon of choice was underrated. And there will be times in life where people will not believe in you, neither what you are carrying. I'm going to tell you the one thing that separated David from Goliath, and that was his heart for God and God's people. If you are going to defeat your giant, you are going to need heart. You must overcome what lies between the pit of your fears and the summit of your knowledge. Our Goliaths, our challenges, our giants oftentimes meet us in our valley places. It's not on the mountaintop that David fought Goliath, but it's in the valley. I tell you this, the tangible giants in our life are defeated by means that are intangible. If a man can conquer his mindset, if a man can master discipline, then there is nothing he can't win. They will tell you that your dream is too big. They will tell you that your destiny cannot be fulfilled. They will tell you it is impossible to accomplish what you have set out to accomplish. But it's not about what they say. It's about what you say. I believe that you were born to triumph over every demon, over every devil, over every addiction. You are fighting for your family. You are fighting for your legacy. What you are fighting for is bigger than you. Do not forget this. David ran toward the Philistine. David ran towards the army. Your dream, your idea, whatever goal you have, get up and run after it. You can defeat this enemy and you can have your future. If you're going to defeat this giant, if you're going to win the war, it starts on the battlefield of your mind. This is where the war is won. Over the course of your life, you will discover that the obstacle is the way, that there is great counsel in conflict. We will discover that we are most creative in the midst of adversity. So do not run from your battle, for the battle is a learning experience. You got to overcome fear. The moment that you overcome fear, then your opponent is bankrupt. There's nothing they can do. You're going to have to dispense with fear and with negative self-talk. Remember your why. It is the why that gets us to win. And it is the why that gives us the power to persevere through the how. Stop looking for the addition. Stop looking for the validation. Stop looking for everybody to agree with what you're about to do. Stop looking for everybody to understand and know this. All you have is all you need. I can see your giant of addiction running towards you with words of darkness, death, attempting to strike fear in your heart. Will you cower? Will you back down? Or will you run into battle? But I see a generation rising up against the one who called you powerless. Rising up against the fiery darts of the enemy. Rising up against the lie that have held us down far too long. Rising up against the despair and the heaviness and the chronic anxiety. I have waited my whole life for this moment. Thank you to everybody that doubted me. Knees buckling, palms sweaty, heart heavy, but I'm ready. I'm afraid, but I'm running. You will hear my feet walk in the pavement. I'm no more complacent. 
He said, everybody that doubted me. He said, everybody that stopped believing in me. He said, everybody that counted me out. What has been tested, what has been proven, do something with what's in your hand. Do what you can with what you have. All you have is all you need. I know that there were times that you wanted to give up. Times that you wanted to throw in the towel and quit. Times when life was so hard and it just seemed like there was no light at the end of the tunnel. There was a time in my life I didn't know what direction I would go. Believe me, that pain, that hurt, we all got to face it sometimes. It's only gonna get tougher from here. But you know, you are made tougher. Tougher than any other obstacle that comes your way. You didn't give up. You kept going. You pushed through. You kept your head held high. Every single moment that you have is an opportunity of a lifetime. The only thing you need to do is pick up your feet with every step you need to decide to take another. Walking through anything that comes your way. Every day when you get out of your bed, you got to start your day. You got to have the ability to rise up to get up and move forward. When you walk out that door and you go about your day, no one understands what's coming, but you must continue to rise for each day that is given to you is that chance, it's that opportunity that you must hold on to. You're going to have to have those losses. You're going to have to fall back a few times. But you got to keep going forward. When the wind is pushing you back, you got to push through it. You can never quit. Not everyone needs to understand your purpose. Not everyone needs to understand your mission. But the truth is, it's about passion. It's about discipline. It's about awareness. It's about accountability. You should know that being uncomfortable is not the end for you. It is a wake-up call that you have been comfortable for far too long. People think if they're in a comfortable state that everything is okay. But it's not okay. Because when chaos shows up, you got to have the ability to push through it. To fight through it. Why were you at the gym so many hours? Because you were trying to get it. Why did you turn down those parties? And those drinks and those drugs? Because you were trying to get it. Now it's time to grind. Now it's time to fight. Now it's time to believe. Now it's time to know that your success story has yet to be told. It ain't gonna happen by itself. It's not gonna change by itself. 
you got to be prepared to put in the work to get to that next level and go beyond. You rise up from negativity. You rise up from fear. You rise up from doubt. You rise up from weakness. You rise up from the excuses. You tell the world that you got work to do. So you got to stay dedicated. You got to keep on pushing forward. You got to keep on fighting the good fight. You got to put aside the excuses. Because excuses won't lift you up. Excuses won't give you the power that you truly need. Don't sit back and have a pity party. Don't sit back and wait for an opportunity to happen. It is up to you to go out there and get the opportunities. You want success? Then go get it. You want to be better? Then be better. You want something more than what you have right now? Then you got to have the desire within your heart and go strong and go with everything you have. I'm ready to wake up each morning knowing that every day is a new adventure. This is what it's all about. The future, the now. My mind is clear. You have to wake up from the lazy mentality. You got to get past this mindset of thinking that everything is supposed to be easy. Believe me when I tell you, I know what it feels like to be uncomfortable, but I'm not the only one that had to suffer through something. I'm not the only one in the world that had to go through some kind of agony, some kind of loss, some kind of setback. But I didn't give up. I didn't quit. I had to realize that I need to be uncomfortable. I didn't say that, hey, why am I doing this and why is this happening to me? What did I do? I didn't say that to myself. So today, you rise. When they put you down, you rise. When emptiness starts to keep inside of your heart, you rise. When you start to feel that no one cares about you, you rise. When everyone thinks that you are less of yourself, I'm here to remind you right now that you have everything you need to rise. You know that good things don't come easy, but you are ready to embrace the hardship. This is my life. You are stronger now than ever before. The time that you have right now is to make a difference. Make it possible through the good and the bad. Make it possible. Do better. Be better. Keep moving. Never quit. Be productive. Be strong. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, rise up and conduct your business. I know what it feels like to be broken. I know what it feels like to be homeless. I know what it feels like to be ignored. You get into a place where you feel like nobody needs you. Nobody believes you. I know what it feels like for people to tell you to write the book. Watch the course, and then when you do it, nobody invests in it. The hour is now for game changers to emerge, for the forgotten, for the rejected, for the ignored, to come out of the ashes and into the light, out of obscurity and into victory. Take the throne with everything that you have in you. The hour is now. I am coming for the throne. 
I'm coming for every room that you lock me out of. Every realm that I step into, I will dominate. I am determined to win, no matter what season I'm in. When you counted me out, when you rejected me, when you overlooked me, when you ignored me, I waited painfully in obscurity for the opportunity to take the throne. I am your replacement. Your rejection has forged a new fire inside of me. Man, I'm climbing the ladder. I'm bringing my team. I'm coming for magazines and movie screens, billboards and awards, movie scores and labels. I'm signing checks and contracts on every table. I'm no longer stuck in the basement, stuck in the gutter. I'm leaving the casket. You saved me, vacant. You were here, my feet walking the pavement. No more complacent, driven, persistent, and relentless are all an understatement. Who am I? I'm sorry, not sorry. I am unapologetically your replacement. I have worked while you have slept. I have learned while you have partied. I have saved while you have spent. And I will live like you dream. I am relentless. I am resilient. I will not back down. I will not surrender. I am now an agent of change and transformation. I am your replacement. Every room that I walk in, I will change the game. I'm influencing neighborhoods and towns, startups and corporations, from the forgotten about hoods to the nations. I'm coming to reconstruct and resurrect broken foundations, leaving everybody that rejected me out of the equation. The marathon continues. The Lamba mentality has left a mark. Shout out to the NBA legend, Kobe, and your daughter, Gigi, from Tom Brady to Drew Bledsoe. Rain, sleep, or snow, I cry. I cry. I am clutch. I am the difference maker. I am the game changer. Make this moment the moment of truth about yourself. Many of you have been selling yourself short all of your life. You have the opportunity to experience more environmental, physical, and mental abundance. Someone who is in a constant state of elevation, their self-talk is, I know who I am, I know where I'm going, and I know where I came from. I want to continue the conversation of self Awareness. You know, there are a few quotes that I love and want to share with you as it pertains to the conversation of self-awareness. And the quote is, there is definitely a direct connection between finding your passion and reaching your potential. You will never fulfill your destiny doing work you despise. Passion gives you an advantage over others because one person with passion is greater than 99 who have only an interest Passion gives you energy. Are you aware of what you are doing with your day-to-day -day time, your grind? Do you like your current relationships? Do you like your circle of influence? Do you like your wardrobe? I think a lot of us, we are programmed to hold on to things that we no longer like. The time is now to step into a place of diligence, hustle, humility, and hunger. The future belongs to the hungry, the humble, the hustler. These are those that will take the throne. There was a new breed of Mamba mentality game changers that in every room that they step in, they are agents of transformation. They are 30,000 feet above the noise. They are architects, pioneers, innovators, students, athletes, lawyers, Doctors, I'm sounding the alarm that a new mentality will emerge inside of you. 
Elevated people know who they are. Uh, they know what they believe, the role in life they are presently filling, their great personal potential. When you are self-aware, you need to be extremely cognizant of your evolution and the fact that you're going to change, the fact that you're not going to be the same person you are. It's a very dangerous thing to be in a place where you are growing, but your life is not. You're still connected to people and places that you've outgrown. It's a very dangerous thing to be in a place like that because you end up dwarfing everybody and everything in your life. Do you like what you're doing and do you like where you're going? Let me ask you another question. What would you like to do? If you don't like what you're doing and you don't like where you are and you don't like your relationships and you don't like X, Y, or Z, what do you want? What do you like? And then you gotta be able to add passion to it to activate that thing and make that dream a reality. Are you fully aware of the bridges that are required to cross over to make your dream a reality. I think a lot of people, they have this vision in their head, this dream, but they don't know how to make it a reality. We navigate through life and we keep missing the bridges to bridge the gap between dream and reality. So do you know what is required of you? Are you aware of what is required of you to make happen what you see only in your head? I wanna give you another quote. Almost every man wastes part of his life it attempts to display qualities which he does not possess. I want you to ask yourself the question, are you the person that is projecting a different you to the world on social media, on your websites, in your meetings? Are you projecting a different you? Are you the same person in private? And I know that there are multiple versions of yourself or even I have multiple versions of me, but are they consistent? I wanna ask you the question, are you aware of your why? Are you aware of your why? So now that you've discovered, okay, I'm not doing what I want to do, and I need to learn how to do what I want to do, and I need to figure out the bridge to bridge the gap between the dream and the reality, do you know why you want to do what you actually want to do? What is your why? Because if the why is great enough, if you're aware of that why, then you can begin to back that why up with work ethic. Every why's got to be backed up by work. You want to be committed, you want to be consistent, you want to be creative, you want to be purposeful, you want to be reflective, and you want to be grateful. These are just a few things that you want to be as you are moving forward in your self-awareness. You've identified your weaknesses, you've identified that there is, a, there is a gap between who you are, what you want, and where you want to be is a massive gap. Awareness and the acceptance of that awareness is the bridge to the future. This is going to connect you to your destiny tribe. Your destiny tribe comes with multiple types of people. What would you like to do? What do you believe you've been destined to do? What talents, skills, giftings, and abilities do you possess to support your desire? to do it? What are your motives for wanting to do it? Why do you want to become what you are looking to become? What steps are you taking to become and to live the life, to make the dream a reality? When you have awareness and you have your actions, but you have no accountability, you set yourself up for a great fall. Let me ask you a question. What price are you willing to pay to make the dream a reality? How aware are you? Are you aware of the price that you are willing to pay relationally, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually? There is a price to pay to manifest a dream. You know, two of the greatest moments in an individual's life is the day they were born and the day that they realize why they were born. Are you aware of your why? Why are you here? What are you doing? Who are you connected to? What are your people, your places, and your purpose? You 
got to stare into the enemy's eyes and let him know that he has met his match. That nothing will be denied the one that won't be denied. You have to make it clear to your opponent that there is no quitting you. You have to make it known to him that no matter what he does, you serve a God greater than him. That there's a power on the inside of you that makes you unstoppable. That you are not scared to get in the ring to fight for what you want in life. The flesh of the warrior is mortal and vulnerable with weaknesses, but the mind and spirit inside the champion is a savage force of undeniable will that's fierce and violent to anything that threatens its ambition. Scarred and wounded, the warrior not deterred, he remains steadfast and unwavering faith to the God that lives within him. Alone he fights, blinded by darkness, but still he moves forward, outflanking every maneuver that hell attempts to conquer him with. He he gets bolder and more aggressive with every step he takes toward greatness. Sucker punched by life, knocked down to the mat several times, but he stretches for the ropes to climb out of the mouth of defeat. His emotional jaw broke, exhausted with two black eyes, gasping for air, nothing left in the tank. The enemy sure of victory till he heard him say, I'm hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. I'm wounded and I broke it. Wounded and I broke it. I'm hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. I'm wounded and I broke it. Wounded and I broke it. Wounded but not broken Got one shot, don't blow this Distractions, can't focus My mask on, can't show this Too busy, got here glowing That fan base keeps growing Momentum, can't slow it I'm Mozart composing She posing with her hair dyed Fake friends and their twisted lies Contacts, blue eyes Plastic chicks with nine lives Three junkies, just getting high Black ice, touch Sky blinded by the sunrise, I'm wounded but still alive. Sweet candles keep burning, the world keeps on turning. I'm seeking discernment, my spirit keeps yearning. School books with no learning. He a star boy, you earned it. That fire from the furnace, the world is yours and you earned it. Silly pillar keep burning, the world is yours and you earned it. I'm wounded but not broken, got one shot. Don't blow this, distractions, can't focus, my mask on, can't show this, too busy out here glowing, that fan base keeps growing, momentum, can't slow it, I'm Mozart composing. Rock stars, smoking no Cupid cigars, flashing in those rental cars, that ain't really who you are, I paint you like my team. Deep but not broken, wounded but not broken. Make rock stars, smoking no Cupid Cigars, flashing in those rental cars. That ain't really who you are. I beat you like my wounded, but not broken. Wounded, but not broken. Wounded, but not broken. Wounded, but not broken. This is Dr. Billy Alls Brooks, blessed and unstoppable. Impact one billion people. The art of motivation. Welcome to the Louvre. To God be the glory. I'm on the other side of this speaker, but even from here, I can see your struggle. I can feel your pain. I know what you're going through, man. Everybody done gave up on you. Everybody's done written you off. All the smart money in Vegas betting against you. That you can't get up off the mat. That you will never overcome this. You've been loyal. You kept it real. Anytime anybody needed to, you were there. Now you going through the struggle. You're going through the trial, you're going through the tribulation, and you look up and you say, where is everybody? I know you feel alone, I know you feel bitter, I know you are mad at the world, but the question is, how are you going to respond? I am wounded, but I am not broken. I am by myself, but I am not alone. When I am weak, I know my God is strong, and I will not quit until I prove them all wrong.
As the walls close in and the light fades, the dark choir singing in perverted ways. Hell's opera, fire, the death of days, the blood of the lamb and his righteous ways. I'm not afraid of struggling and fighting alone. I'm not afraid of traversing the dark alone. I'm not afraid to climb that mountain on my own. I'm not afraid to die. I've always been alone. Don't wait the savage. Yes, the struggle is real. And no life hasn't turned out the way you thought it would. Even when you worked hard and put the time in and did the right things, still things didn't turn out the way you wanted them. That one you thought was a soulmate was just an illusion. That job promotion really wasn't a promotion, it was a jail sentence. I'm just keeping it real, that family that you thought was family never really acted like family. And those friends that you thought had your back are your biggest enemies. Now here's what we gonna do. I'm gonna give you 24 hours to mourn to cry it all out, a pout day. So you do what you need to do for the next 24 hours to get all that stuff out. And then I want you to answer this question. How are you going to respond? I am wounded, but I'm not broken. I am by myself, but I'm not alone. When I am weak, I know my God is strong and I will not quit until I prove them all wrong. Kisses of betrayal, the knife cuts, the blood runs red, the shark's lust, emotional wounds, scars, broken trust. We got different vibrations, can't comprehend us. Romantic violence, flirting, making souls blush, screams of chaos, gorgeous dreams being crushed. The blood runs red, the shark's lust, they're about to wake that savage inside of us. Shh, don't wake the savage. One day down the road, you're gonna have to forgive these people that hurt you. But what I want you to do right now is to anchor this feeling, to channel all these emotions that you have on the inside, that betrayal, that anger, that bitterness. I want you to channel it. Now what the devil meant for harm, God will make good. See, there's a hidden energy, a hidden power, a secret locked in each and every trial and tribulation. And if you dig down and can find it, you can use it to go to that next level. Now you can anchor this energy. The anger, the bitter, the frustration that's in this situation, you can anchor that with all your senses in such a way that you can tap back into it and use it whenever you want. Channel all of that energy, that focus into your thing. Forgive, but never forget how this feels. So when you overcome, when you come up out of this, when you get back on top, and you start wanting to get complacent, when you start wanting to take off days and start making shortcuts, remember how you feel right now. Go back into this moment so that you never lose what you're about to come back and see. See, before this situation, you were good. But to be great, to be unstoppable, to be invincible, you need to go through this. You need to learn the lessons in this moment. Seize this moment and capture every ounce of knowledge, wisdom, and power that resides in this situation. And what the devil meant for harm, God will make good. Wounded, but not broken. In a coma, but not dead. Shh, don't wake the savage. This is Dr. Billy Owls Brooks, and I am... Bless and unstoppable. Impact one billion people. Motivational on. Welcome to the Louvre. And to God be the glory. Every day, life is going to test the edges of your resolve. And at some point or another, there will be an all-out war on all fronts to destroy your God-given destiny. Now, the enemy will attack your dreams, your relationships, your finances, your health, everything that you love and find sacred. Like a lion, he will be coming for it all. The sun will set and the dark will be ushered in. The voices in the sky will begin to harmonize and the choir of destruction will begin to sing their song of fear and doubt with the intent of raping and murdering the greatness on the inside of you. The symphony of darkness will stir those closest to you to betray your trust at the most critical times of your life. The ambassadors of darkness hoping that you will tap out, that you will
will quit, that you will give up on all that is dear to you. Your enemy will slash, cut, and stab you emotionally, attempt to weigh you down mentally, relentlessly using every weapon at their disposal. Because the truth is, the enemy fears your future. When you get knocked down to the mat, warrior, you gotta go inside and find that voice and scream. I'm hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. I'm wounded, even I broke in. Wounded, even I broke in. I'm hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. I'm wounded, even I broke in. Wounded, even I broke in.